Hi, it's Don Davis. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about some of the features of the Casio FX300ES calculator. Uh, this calculator is available at the uh, Lakeland Bookstore and at local uh, Staples, Office Max, and Walmarts. Uh, cost ranges anywhere from about uh, $10 to $15. First thing I wanted to show you is how it can reduce fractions. I think one of the features of this calculator that's different is that um, it's low cost and it can do math print. And let me show you what I mean. I'll uh, go ahead and hit this button here which is the fraction button. I'll put in this first fraction I have here 24 and then I'll just hit the downed cursor key put in the denominator of 56 and notice it returns the fraction in reduced form. Uh, also we can convert this to a decimal if we'd want and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we can go ahead and put in this second fraction here, 3 eighths. And notice I'll go ahead and hit enter there and really nothing happens. But if I hit this key that says SD, I believe that stands from standard form to decimal form. It, go ahead, it goes ahead and converts that fraction into a decimal. If I hit the key one more time, it converts that decimal back to a fraction. And it's uh, we're not really uh, restricted to uh, proper fractions. We can also use improper fractions, no problem. We can also use mixed numbers. Let's take a look at the third example here. I'll show you how that works. To enter a mixed number, like 1 and 3 fifths, we can just go ahead and hit the shift key and the fraction key. Now notice we're given a placeholder for a whole number there, so I'll put in 1 and then just hit the right cursor key, put in the numerator of 3, and then 5, and we'll go ahead and add another fraction to it. I don't need the shift key there because this is a proper fraction. And so notice that returns the answer of 28 fifteenths. So that's an improper fraction. If a student would want to convert that to a mixed number, we would just hit the shift key and then this uh, uh, converter key for improper fractions to mixed numbers. Uh, so that's the shift key and the SD key does that. And notice if I do that one more time, it turns the mixed number back to an improper fraction. I think one of the big advantages of this calculator, uh, beyond its cost, is um, its ability to uh, perform orders of operations. Take a look at this expression I've written here. We'll go ahead and evaluate that now. So I'll hit the um, I'll hit the uh, fraction key, and then we have to put in this um, real number here, 3.5 to the 2.1 power. So to do that, I'll just go ahead and hit 3.5, and then we'll use the x to the box key, so to speak, to put in the exponent and then the right cursor key to get out of the exponent and we'll subtract 13 and notice this is a complex fraction so I'll just move down to the denominator hit the fraction key one more time put in the numerator there the denominator is a square root and notice the square root key right by the fraction key square root of 45 and you can go ahead and hit the enter key now sometimes I like to go ahead and go all the way to the end using the right cursor key and so there's uh, that expression evaluated then. Uh, one more thing, it does uh, respect the um, conventions of, of uh, rationalizing denominators so let me show you how that works now. I'll go ahead and put in the fraction uh, 3 in the numerator and then 1 plus the square root of 2 so I just use the square root key put in the 2 and notice if I hit the enter key it rationalizes the denominator for me. So that's kind of a nice feature and uh, you know, I think there's some teaching opportunities there. And then one more thing for uh, table generation if you want to look at um, expressions numerically we can do that. I'll show you how that works. Uh, when, you know, what, uh, certainly one common thing that students get uh, confused on the difference between you know like uh, negative uh, 2 squared and the quantity negative 2 squared that kind of thing so to d I, I usually demonstrate that with a table and so we'll put in this uh, function here negative x squared and we'll make a table between negative 3 and 3 so to do that we'll go ahead and hit the mode key and notice option 3 is for a table 
and then it gives you a place to put in a function there. Oh, by the way, the stuff I did before only works with uh, arithmetic. You can't put in um, uh, you can't put in x. You can't put in an independent variable. Also, but we need an x here, don't we? So I'll go ahead and hit the negative key. That's uh, just below the fraction key. Hit the alpha key, and then x is right down here by the uh, SD key. And then we want to square it, so I'll hit the x squared key. And now if I just go ahead and hit enter, uh, it asks me where I want to start. Well, I want to start at negative 3, right? Go ahead and hit enter. And where do I want to end? At 3. And the increments, I want to use a step of 1, so I'll just leave it at 1. And notice now the output is a uh, two-column table. So we can see here if we put in these negative numbers for x, we get a negative output. 0 is 0. But then if we put in positive numbers for x, we still get negative output. So that's how I demonstrate the difference between um, uh, you know, when you have that leading negative sign there. So that's uh, some of the basic operations of the Casio FX300ES scientific calculator.